Prostate cancer is the, uh, has the highest incidence of all cancers in men and over the past decade or so the improvements in screening techniques and transrectal biopsy have led to the disease being found in a younger population of men at an earlier stage of disease. The existing therapies, the radical therapies, are very effective but those therapies which are radical prostatectomy, the surgical removal of the prostate, and two different forms of radiation therapy, either external beam radiation therapy or the implantation of radioactive seeds, brachytherapy. Those three radical therapies have a significant incidence of side effects. And so these cancer patients are faced with a dilemma in terms of their choice because they take a risk of incurring lifelong side effects that affect their urinary, bowel, or sexual function. Our new therapy has a couple of advantages. One, it is performed in a magnetic resonance imager and we actually use the images to uh, estimate the temperature as we're delivering it from an ultrasound device in the prostate. Uh, this effectively means that we can see what we're doing while we're doing it. This enables very accurate control of the deposition of the ultrasound and basically we can, in preclinical models, achieve an accuracy of about one millimeter with respect to the target boundary that we're trying to coagulate. This is a result from a preclinical experiment. The yellow outline is of a prostate and we've targeted a region in black within it and we're trying to make the red line coincide with that black target boundary. And this speeded up movie shows the temperature that we're creating in the prostate during the treatment. I see, and so that rotates throughout through the prostate. So it's, the a, it's a single rotation and we're able to treat within the about a millimeter of the targeted boundary all the way around the prostate. In addition to being able to see what we're doing while we're doing it, uh, this treatment is accomplished relatively quickly. In preclinical models our treatments take between 20 and 30 minutes. And we have the additional advantage that uh, we can retreat with this same technology. So as the diagnostic tools become better and specific regions of the prostate can be uh, localized as having the disease, we'll be able to treat those regions. And should the disease recur at a later time, we can go back and, and treat again with this technique. Working closely with a clinical team here at Sunnybrook, uh, which involves radiologists or pathologists, and Dr. Laurie Klotz, Chief of Urology, we will be taking this technology forward to a small feasibility trial uh, which will be done with patients here at Sunnybrook uh, during the course of the next year.